So it also says that if we have loads of energy in these collisions, then we can make new particles that are extremely massive, much more massive. CERN scientists tested quantum tunneling and something super weird happened. They were expecting it to be a routine experiment, but out of nowhere, they detected large particles passing through solid barriers. The results have shocked the scientific community worldwide as the possibility of this happening was closer to zero. Well, I don't know the numbers I've made. One in 10 billion collisions, you'll produce something by, uh, interesting, a Higgs, less than that. So how did they find out about this? And how did this experiment manage to shake the very foundations of modern physics? The breakthrough. This is shocking because when CERN scientists tested quantum tunneling recently, they did not just confirm a known phenomenon, they may have opened the door to something entirely new. According to Professor Brian Cox, this might be the most important result in physics since the Higgs boson was discovered in 2012, and he is not the only one paying attention. This experiment has already gained international interest, and for good reason. The experiment was conducted at the Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's most powerful particle accelerator. But this time, scientists were not just accelerating particles to smash them into each other. They were investigating how particles behave when they encounter solid barriers, specifically whether they could exhibit something known as quantum tunneling. Now, quantum tunneling is not a new field. It is a well-known effect in quantum mechanics where very small particles, like electrons, can pass through energy barriers they normally should not be able to cross. That's already strange enough, but it is something physicists have observed and even used in certain technologies. However, what CERN just did was very different from previous tunneling experiments. Instead of working with tiny particles, the team used particles that were 1,000 times larger than those typically involved in tunneling experiments. This is where the surprise begins. According to everything we know from classical physics, these particles should not be able to tunnel. The barrier should stop them, but in this case, it didn't. The experiment showed that even these larger particles pass through what were considered solid, impenetrable barriers. These are not hypothetical barriers. These are real physical obstacles or walls that, under all normal conditions, should block particles this large from moving forward. Yet the particles somehow appeared on the other side. This is why so many scientists are now rethinking some core ideas in physics. The boundary between quantum and classical physics has always been treated as strict and well-defined. Small particles behave quantum mechanically, large objects obey classical rules. But this experiment calls that distinction into question. If particles much larger than expected can show quantum behavior like tunneling, then maybe the border between these two domains is not as fixed as we thought. Maybe it is more flexible. Maybe it is not a boundary at all. This result also raises concerns about one of the most famous principles in quantum physics, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. This principle places limits on what we can know about a particle's position and momentum at the same time. But if larger particles are tunneling through barriers, it is unclear how those limits apply. The question right now is whether uncertainty still works the same way at this scale, or whether we are seeing a breakdown in the framework we have relied on for nearly a century. Another important point is that this breakthrough might not stay confined to theory. It could lead to new technologies that, until now, were only part of speculation. The most immediate application being considered is in energy storage. Quantum tunneling at this scale could help create a new type of energy device, something like a quantum battery. In traditional batteries, there are limits to how fast energy can move because electrons have to overcome certain energy barriers. But if those electrons could tunnel through instead, those limits might not matter anymore. That would allow for extremely fast charging. The impact on quantum computing might be even bigger. At present, quantum computers need highly controlled environments to work, mostly supercooled labs and vacuum chambers. That's because quantum states are delicate and collapse easily. But this discovery suggests that quantum effects can survive at larger scales, which might make it possible to build quantum computers that are more stable, maybe even without extreme conditions. That alone could push the development of practical quantum computers forward by decades. But what really caught researchers off guard was what happened during the experiment, not just the tunneling, but the side effects that came with it. For one, the instruments detected unusual space-time effects. Specifically, they noticed small changes in the local gravitational field when tunneling events happen. 
That's not something quantum experiments usually produce. It is subtle, but it suggests a possible connection between quantum tunneling and gravity, which are two areas of physics that have always been hard to unify. CERN is already working with other research centers, including LIGO, which specializes in detecting gravitational waves. To better understand this effect, it might turn out to be noise, but if it is real, it could be the beginning of a new path toward what scientists call quantum gravity, a long sought goal in modern physics. Then, just when it seemed the experiment could not get any more surprising, it did. The team observed something completely unexpected. They observed a brief but measurable increase in energy during the tunneling process. In simple terms, the particles seemed to gain energy, even though there was no clear source for it. That is a direct challenge to one of the oldest and most trusted ideas in physics, the conservation of energy. According to that law, energy in a closed system should stay the same. You can transform it, move it, or store it, but you can't create it from nothing. And yet that's what seemed to happen. The energy didn't last long, but it was enough to raise serious questions. Some physicists are now developing new models to explain what they saw. These include early theories about how energy might behave differently at the boundary between classical and quantum systems. Others are more cautious and want to wait for more data before drawing conclusions. As the team continued their tests, they found that increasing the particle size did not reduce the tunneling effect as expected. In fact, the effect remained strong and in some cases even spread through more complex particle arrangements. This contradicts the idea that tunneling only works for very small, isolated particles. It suggests something more widespread might be happening. Because of this, many experts are revisiting predictions made by string theory. This is a model in theoretical physics that describes how particles behave at all scales. Some versions of string theory suggest that quantum effects could influence larger systems in specific ways. While string theory has often lacked experimental support, this CERN experiment might offer new data points that connect to those predictions. The data from CERN was consistent, yes, but it was also statistically strong. The team ran the experiment hundreds of times and recorded results that passed the five sigma threshold. That means the chance of these findings being random is extremely low, like less than one in 3.5 million. For comparison, earlier attempts to test large scale tunneling at places like MIT and Caltech did not show the same results. What made CERN's experiment different was not just the scale of the particles, but also the precision of the setup. The design allowed quantum behaviors to remain stable long enough to be measured. And so the next question is, what does all of this mean for the real world? What happens when something once considered theoretical suddenly becomes measurable, repeatable, and very real? Real world possibilities. CERN's discovery of large particles tunneling through solid barriers opens lots of doors in physics. Let's start with something that's getting a lot of attention already, technology. Because if this quantum tunneling behavior can be controlled at larger scales, we might be looking at huge practical inventions that could hit the market within our lifetime. Yes, lifetime, not 200 years from now. We are now on the edge of breakthroughs we thought were impossible. Take communication, for example. Right now, scientists working in quantum information are trying to figure out how this discovery could help with information transfer. More specifically, they are asking, can this help us move data across distances faster, cleaner, and more securely? Today's quantum teleportation is limited. It works, but only under super strict conditions and over very short distances. It is because of something called decoherence. Basically, quantum information is fragile. It breaks down easily when anything interferes with it. But if tunneling works at a larger scale and through barriers, it might become possible to move information without hitting those usual roadblocks. If that's true, the way we send and receive data could change completely. And that brings us to energy. There are early discussions about quantum tunneling reactors. The idea is that if we can manage how particles tunnel between classical and quantum states, we might be able to extract usable energy straight from the quantum field itself. That would mean getting energy without burning fuel, splitting atoms, or relying on the weather. If these reactors become real, they could completely change how we power cities, homes, and even spacecraft. Some of the early theoretical models suggest energy efficiency rates that challenge how we understand thermodynamics today. 
Meanwhile, in the world of materials and manufacturing, people are starting to think very differently. If particles can tunnel through barriers at scale, that means we might one day create materials that allow objects or even electrical charges to pass through them on command. That sounds wild, but it's not fantasy anymore. Electronics could benefit right away. We could see the rise of zero-resistance semiconductors. These would let electrons flow with no friction, no heat, and no energy waste. That alone could revolutionize the tech industry from smartphones to high-performance servers. The timeline for these things is shorter than anyone expected. Before this, we thought quantum scale technologies like these were at least a century away. Now some researchers are saying we might see the first real world applications, especially in quantum computing within just five years. That leads us to security and defense. Because you know if this technology can change how we send information or detect motion, governments are going to be interested. And they already are. Quantum tunneling could make communications that are literally impossible to intercept. If particles can tunnel in controlled patterns, it could allow for the development of secure channels that no current system can hack. Even radar might change. New quantum radar systems could be developed to detect objects designed to be invisible to traditional radar. That includes stealth aircraft and other hidden technologies. The way these quantum signals bounce, interact, or tunnel could make even the most advanced cloaking tech useless. And of course, there is medicine. Researchers in nanomedicine are especially excited. Right now, one of the biggest challenges in drug delivery is the blood-brain barrier. It is there to protect the brain from toxins, but it also blocks helpful medications. If quantum tunneling can be controlled at the nanoscale, there is potential to deliver drugs directly through that barrier without damaging tissue or causing side effects. That could open up new treatment paths for brain disorders, cancers, and more. But maybe the most complex and controversial part of this whole story is what it might mean for physics itself. Specifically, the ongoing effort to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. What to expect in the future? For nearly a century, scientists have struggled with the fact that the universe follows one set of rules on small scales and another on large ones. Gravity explains the behavior of planets and stars. Quantum mechanics explains atoms and particles. But those two systems don't match up. They work separately, but not together. This experiment that showed quantum tunneling at larger scales might be the beginning of that missing link. If tunneling allows larger particles to behave quantumly, it could show us how quantum effects operate in the same space as gravitational ones. It may give physicists the first real-world data to test quantum gravity theories, something even Einstein could not figure out. And it's not just that. Some scientists believe this might also help explain dark matter and dark energy, the mysterious forces that make up 95 of our universe but remain invisible. These unknown elements might actually be the result of quantum effects happening at larger scales than we have ever looked at. Until now, we simply didn't have a way to measure them. Interestingly, some of the experimental patterns seen in CERN's data line up with predictions made in string theory. That's the idea that all matter is made up of tiny, vibrating strings and that our universe might have more than three dimensions. If particles are tunneling across barriers, they might also be tunneling through extra dimensions. That could explain why we see only part of their behavior and why it is so difficult to track where energy seems to go. This also ties in with the holographic principle which is another bold idea in physics that suggests our 3D universe might actually be described by information stored on a 2D surface. This is strange, but not entirely unsupported. The patterns observed at CERN match some of the math behind this principle. That alone has caught the attention of theoretical physicists worldwide. So yes, what started as a particle tunneling experiment might now be pointing us toward answers to the biggest questions in science. Now tell us, what do you think scientists explore next with this discovery? Share your opinion with us in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on where this all leads, make sure to subscribe for more updates on the biggest discoveries in science.